Okay, hi guys, hello. Welcome you all to Learn Crew and uh, for the exciting news for today is we had an overwhelming response for our previous set of videos that is for Super 20 test series for IPPS clerical. Now we are bringing you the new program which is for your IPPS clerical mains, IPPS PO prelims, mains and also for your RRB. So do not waste any further, you won't get this kind of content anywhere on the YouTube. So please do subscribe to the channel and in case if you are planning to start your preparation for your banking, SSC or for your railways, do look no further. We are having an exclusive program designed for you people to crack the exam much more conveniently with a rigorous study pattern. So do stay subscribed and follow us for more details. Enquiry form is given below. Please fill it up. Our team will give you a call back and we will reach out to you and help you out. Thank you very much. Welcome to today's session. So for today we will discuss IBPS RRB clerk mock test 2 quantitative aptitude section paper analysis. So see the first five questions here. Sapna buys five articles. The quantity in kg of each article and the rate per kg of each article has been given in the line chart. So the blue market line rate per kg and the dotted orange line is quantity. The amount occurred in buying Article C is how much less or more than the amount occurred for buying Article D. If you see for C, it is 164 into 179. It is uh, for C, the total amount occurred would be how much? 164 into 179 for C. It would be how much? 29356. And what about for D? For D it is 145. It is 145 into 232 cases quantity which is uh, 33640. So what is the difference between these two? The difference between these two is 4284. So 4000, this is uh, C is 4284 less. So option 5 is the answer. Next, Sapna sold 30% of article E at the rate of 264 per kg. He sold 4 by 7 of the rest at 273 per kg. If he sold the remaining article E at 252 rupees per kg, then how much profit is earned by Sapna? The total is 140. Out of 140, 30% is 42 kg. Okay? And uh, uh, out of 140, 42 is taken out. Uh, taken out. The remaining is 98. In that 98, 40, uh, 4 by 7. 4 by 7 is how much? 56. And out of 98.56 is gone, the remaining is 42. So different prices are given now. So it is 42 into 264, 56 into 273, and 42 into 252. Please take the sum of all these values. So 42 into 264 is 11,088. 56 into 273. 56 into 273 is 15,288. 42 into 252 is 10,584. So if I add all these things, I am going to get how much? What is the total value I am going to get? 36,960. 36,960. Now, what is asked here? What is the profit end? What is the profit end? So actually total 260 
total 140 into 260 is the cost 140 into 260 so you have to subtract 140 into 260 140 into 260 would be how much 36,400 please do subtract from here to here you will get how much you will get 560 thereby the profit is 560 so option is 4 next what is the ratio of the amount incurred for what is the ratio of the amount incurred for buying article A to the amount incurred for buying article B article A is 98 into 150 article B is 84 into 270 so what is the ratio you are going to get here so it is how much uh, 15 0, 0 cancel right so it is uh, 3 fiza 3 nines are 3 fiza 3 nines are it is 14 sevens are 14 six are thereby 35 is to 54 35 is to 54 option one is the correct answer next one what is the total quantity of articles bought by Sapna? So, what is the total quantity? You have to add all these things 150 plus 270, 420 plus 179 plus 232 plus, plus, 232 plus 140. If you add all these things, you will get 971. 971. Next, price per kg of article F is 25% more than price per kg of article b price per kg of article b is how much given here 84 na yes it is increased by 25 percent it is increased by one fourth so for f it is 105 for f it is 105 and the quantity of article f bought by sapna is 30 percent is more than article e so, 30% uh, is more means on this 30% is 42, thereby it would be 182. 182 is the quantity, price is 105, thereby how much you are going to get? 182 into 105. 182 into 105, be how much you will get? 19,110. 19,000. 110 is the answer. Correct. Right. 19,110. 19,110 is the answer. So option is 4. The next. Please see here. There are 5 bags A, B, C, D, E. Each contains 3 different colored balls. Red, green and blue number of uh, blue. Number of red balls in bag A is 12. Number of red balls in bag A is 20 percent is more than number of red balls in bag C. Ratio of number of red balls and number of green balls in bag C is 2 is to 1. Total number of balls in bag C is 18. Respective ratio of number of red balls and number of green balls in bag A is 3 is to 2 respectively. Total number of balls in bag A is 26. Total number of balls in bag A is 14 and the respective ratio of number of red balls, number of green balls and number of blue balls in bag A is 4 is to 2 is to 1. Number of blue balls in bag B is 10. Respective ratio of the number of red balls and number of blue balls in bag B is 4 is to 5 respectively. Total number of balls in bag B is 22. Total number of balls in bag B is 10 less than total number of balls in bag B. Respective ratio of number of red balls, number of green balls and number of blue balls in bag D is 1 is to 3 is to 2. Now based on this we have to, we will represent everything in table thereby A. So you have here you have bag A, bag B, bag C, bag D, bag E. And different colored black, uh, balls are there right you have a red colored balls 
green colored balls blue colored balls and total okay please see here what is given the first one the number of red the number of red balls in bag a, uh, bag a is 12 and it is 20 percent is more than red balls in bag c so bag c red balls has to be 10 ratio of number of red balls and number of green balls in bag c is 2 is to 1 2 is to 1 means 2 parts is 10 there were one part would be 5 so this would be 5 next total number of balls in bag c is 18 total number of balls in bag c is 18 means thereby 10 plus 5 plus 3 respective ratio of number of red balls and number of green balls in bag a is 3 is to 2 if it is 3 parts 2 parts would be 8 total number of balls in bag a is 26 so it has to be 6 thereby it is 26 total number of balls in bag e is 14 bag e is how much 14 and respective ratio of number of red balls number of green balls and number of blue balls is 4 is to 2 is to 1 so 7 parts is 14 thereby it is uh, 7 parts is 14 it is uh, 8 how much 8 it is 4 it is 2 next number of blue balls in bag b is 10 number of blue balls in bag b is 10 respective ratio of number of red balls and number of blue balls is 4 is to 5 number of blue balls and number of number of red balls and number of blue balls is 4 is to 5 so uh, it is 5 parts 10 4 parts 8 total number of balls in bag b is 22 10 plus 8 plus 4 is 22. Total number of balls in bag B is 10 less than number of balls in bag B. Number of balls in bag B is 22. It is 10 less means it has to be 12. It has to be 12. Next. Total number, uh, uh, respective ratio of number of red balls, number of green balls and number of blue balls is 1 is to 3 is to 2. 1 is to 3 is to 2 thereby 6 parts is 12 so if our each part would be 2 so it would be 2 it would be 6 it would be 4 so total number of red balls total number of green balls total number of blue balls thereby total number of balls so if you add total number of balls how much you are going to get it is 92 total number of balls is how much 92 number of blue balls is 25 number of green balls is 27 and number of red balls is 40 in total. This is what we have found. Find the probability of drawing three balls of different color from bag A. From bag A. So one from each. One from each. So it would be 12C1 into 8C1 into 6C1 divided by total balls 26. 26 out of the three balls so how much you are going to get here if you simplify this you will get uh, 72 by 325 so answer is 72 by 325 option 2 next find the probability of drawing three balls of same color from bag B it can be any of the colors so you can apply addition rule it is 8C3 plus 4C3 plus 10C3 divided by 22C3. So if you apply, how much you are going to get? 9 by 77. Apply and simplify. 9 by 77. Apply NCR, you get the answer. Find the probability of drawing 3 balls from back C such that all balls are of are not of same color. So it is 1 minus all of all are of same color. So 10C3 plus 5C3 plus 3C3 divided by how much? 18C3. 18C3. Right? So how much? So how much? So 
so it is 1 minus ten c three one twenty five c three five c two ten three c three one by eighteen c three is uh, eight one six so how much you are going to get it is six eighty five divided by six eighty five six eighty five divided by eight one six six eighty five divided by eight one six next find the probability of drawing two red balls and two green balls from back d so back d back d in total you have 12 balls so drawing four balls two what two red balls two green balls so 2c2 into 6c2 divided by 12c4 it is nothing but 1 into 15 by 495 so it is 1 by 33 so answer is 1 by 33 find the probability of drawing three red balls two green balls and one blue balls from bag e from bag e so three red bag e bag e in total has 14 balls so you are drawing in total six balls so sample space the complete what total number of outcomes is 14 c6 so it is 8 c3 into 4 c2 into 2 c1 out of 14 picking 6 so thereby 8 c3 is 56 4 c2 is 6 2 c1 into is 2 14 c6 is uh, 3003 thereby it would be 224 divided by 1001 on cancellation with 3 so answer is option 3 next Questions on series, please find the wrong number, so I find the wrong number, so 4925, 4925, so what is the wrong number, uh, wrong number, what is the logic here, see uh, 4 into 1, 4 plus 2 plus 3 is 9, 9 into 2, 18 plus 3 plus 4, 7 so 25 25 into 3 85 so 3 plus 4 is over now 4 plus 5 which is 75 plus 9 84 correct so here 85 is the wrong term next 84 into 84 into 4 plus 5 plus 6 which is 347 it is correct so 84 has to be correct here you have 85 which is the wrong term next 624 624 uh, how much 60 124 210 336 so this uh, 6 is what 1 into 2 into 3 this is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 right so now what, what I can do 3 into 2 into 1 is 6 4 into 3 into 2 is 24 5 into 4 into 3 is 60 so next one has to be 6 into 5 into 4 which is 120 120 124 is there which is the wrong term next 21, 46, 75, 110, 145, 186. So 21, 21. How much? 46. Please see. 10 plus 11, 21 into 1 is 21. 10 plus 12, 22. 11, sorry. 10 is over now. No, let me take 11. 11 plus 12, 23 into 2 is 46. 10, 11, now 12. 12 plus 13, 25 into 3 is 75. 13 plus 14, 27 into 4 is supposed to be 108. 
110 is the round term. Now 14 plus 15, which is 29. 29 into 5, 145. Correct. So the round term is 110. Next, 4, 12, 34, 98, 435, 2229, which is the round term. 4 becomes 12. 4 becomes 12. 4 into 0.5, 2 plus 10 is 12. 12 into 1, 12 plus 21 is 33. 33 into 2, 66. Again increased by 11, means 32, which is 98, 98.5 becomes 1, 1 becomes 2, 2 becomes 4, 32 increased by 11, 43, which is 435. So 98, 435 are the correct, 33 is the correct term, 34 is the wrong term. Next, 9, 14, 45. 328, so sudden increase is there. So if you see 9 becomes 14, 9 plus 5, 14 becomes 45, 31. So if you observe here clearly, 9 plus 1 power 1 plus 2 square is 14. Similarly, 14 plus 2 square plus 3 cube is 45. 45 plus 3 cube plus 4 power 4 is 328. 328 plus 4 power 4 plus 5 power 5 has to come which is 3709 but we have 3708 here which is wrong term. <coughs> I hope it is clear. <coughs> now next based on DI. The first pie chart represents the total number of students appeared for an exam from 5 cities. The second pie chart represents the total number of pie chart uh, uh, students passed in the exam from five cities. The table represents the ratio of uh, number of boys to number of girls passed from the five cities. From the five cities. So please see here, number of students appeared. Number of students appeared. So total is sixty. Total is here 60,000. Total number of students passed is 25,000. This is what is given. I see question number 16 here. Number of girls who passed the exam from Delhi. Number of past students who passed from Delhi is 15% of 25,000 which is 3750. 3750. Is what percent of number of boys who passed in the exam exam from Chennai from Chennai so number of students uh, who passed in the exam number of passed who passed number of students passed in the exam from Delhi is 3750 and number of girls who passed in the exam from Delhi number of girls num see it is 8 is to 8 is to 7 7 by 15 of 3750. 7 by 15 of 3750. So uh, each part 257 parts 7 into 250 1750. So this value would be 1750. It is what percentage of number of boys who pass from Chennai. So total number of students who pass from Chennai is how much? 25 but uh, is how much? 20 percent of 2005. Uh, 25,000. 20% of 25,000 is actually one fifth of 25,000, 5,000. And here, boys, boys from Chennai would be 3,000. Okay, this 1750 is what percentage of 3,000 is the question? Is the question approximately it is how much? 58.33%. So the answer is option 2. The next second question what percent of the students are passed from Mumbai so total number of students appeared from Mumbai appeared from Mumbai is 24 percent of 60,000 which is 14,400 and 
passed from passed in Mumbai, thirty percent of twenty five thousand, which is seven thousand five hundred, which is seven thousand five hundred. So the seven thousand five hundred is what percentage of fourteen thousand four hundred, right? So the answer is very close to more than fifty percent, fifty two point something, fifty two point zero eight percent. So answer is option three. Next question number eighteen. Find the respective ratio of number of girls passed from Varanasi and number of boys passed from Mumbai. So Varanasi it is twenty five percentage of twenty five thousand. Which is six thousand two fifty, and girls, girls Varanasi. So how much is uh, number of number of girls passed from Varanasi is twenty five part six six two five zero. Each part will be twenty what two fifty. Thereby eleven into two fifty is two seven five zero two seven five zero, and number of boys from Mumbai. Mumbai total passed are thirty percent of twenty five thousand seven thousand five hundred. I am boys from Mumbai, so five parts is seven thousand five hundred. Each part fifteen hundred. Two parts should be three thousand. Now respective ratio of two seven five zero. Am I correct or not here? Number of boys. Am I correct? Number of boys passed from Mumbai. Number of boys, number of girls passed from Varanasi to number of boys passed from Mumbai. Number of boys passed from Mumbai is two by five. Number of boys passed from Mumbai is two by five of seven thousand five hundred, which is how much? Three thousand. So two seven five zero is to three thousand. So twenty five eleven za twenty five twelve za. So eleven is to twelve is the answer. So answer is none of this. Answer is none of this. Next, out of the total number of students appeared from Pune, fifty-six percent are girls. So Pune twenty percent of six sixty thousand, which is twelve thousand. Okay, out of out of twelve thousand, out of twelve thousand, what fifty-six percent is? Fifty-six percent of twelve thousand is. Six thousand seven twenty are girls. Are girls? Find the number of uh, failed girls from Pune. So total number of pass from Pune is ten percentage of twenty five thousand, which is two thousand five hundred. And Pune pass is the ratio three is to two. So five parts is twenty five hundred. Each part is five hundred. Two parts is one thousand. So girls pass is one thousand out of. Six thousand seven twenty. So failed are remaining five thousand seven twenty. Now next question. Find the total number of passed girls from all the cities. Passed girls from all the cities. So if you see, already we have calculated this total is three seven five zero. Number of uh, students passed from Chennai is five thousand. This is seven thousand five hundred, Varanasi six thousand two fifty, and this is one thousand. This is how much? Two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Already we have calculated number of girls. Number of girls passed from Delhi. Number of girls passed from Delhi here it is seventeen fifty. Number of girls passed from Chennai. Five parts. Is five thousand two point six two thousand, and here five parts is seven thousand five hundred. Three parts is four thousand five four thousand five hundred. Four thousand five hundred, and uh, here Varanasi eleven parts should be how much? The Varanasi girls Varanasi girls should be two thousand seven fifty. Two thousand seven fifty, and Pune girls. Pune girls should be one thousand, right? Thereby, in total, number of girls passed. This total sum would be how much you are going to get? It is twelve thousand. How much? Twelve thousand. So answer is twelve thousand. Next, 
monthly incomes of Om Prakash and Jai Prakash are 34,500 and 39,200. Om Prakash spends 32 percentage, 17 percentage and 35 percentage of his total income on food, rent and other expenses respectively. While Jai Prakash spends 28 percentage, 22 percentage and 36 percentage in his total income in food, rent and other expenses respectively. And the rest of the amount is saved by both of them. So thereby 30, 17 plus 35, 52, 52 plus 32, 84 percentage he is spending. So how much is paying, uh, saving 16 percentage of 34,500, which is how much? 5,520. And how much is Jai Prakash saving? It is Om Prakash. And how much is Jai Prakash saving? Saving 28 plus 22, 50, 50 plus 36, 86. So remaining is 14 percentage of 39,200, which is how much? It is, uh, it is 5,520, it is 5,488. 5,000. So what is the difference between these two? The difference between these two is nothing but 32 rupees. So answer is 32 rupees. Answer is? Next, a man invested 15,400 rupees in each of the two different schemes A and B. A offers 20 percent compound interest, B offers 15 percent simple interest. What is the difference between the interest earned by a man after two years from both the schemes A and B? A and B. So, if you see here, if you see here 15,400 on 15,400. 20 percentage compound interest, 20 percentage compound interest for 2 years would be how much? 44 percentage, 44 percentage of 15,400 would be 6,776 and simple interest, simple interest for 2 years would be 30 percentage, 30 percent of 15,400 would be 4,620, 4,620. It is asked for the difference, asked for the difference, which is uh, 2156. Okay, so answer is 2156. Option 3 is the answer. Next, Rohit, Reena, and Ranju enter into a partnership with investments 3 is to 2 is to 4, respectively. After one year, Ritu joined them with an investing investment equal to the sum of the initial investments of Rohit and Reena. Anjaranju made, uh, made her investment 1.5 times. So after one more year, after one more year, Rina doubled her investment. At the end of three years, they earned a total profit of 1,72,000. Find the share of Rohit. Find the share of Rohit. So please see here, we have Rohit, Rina, Ranju, and Ritu joined later. So Rohit's investment three for three years and Rina two for two years and then double four and Ranju four and then one uh, then one one and a half times six for next two years. Sum of these two is 5 for 2 years. Thereby, what is the total ratio? 9 is to 8 is to 16 is to 10 is the profit ratio. So, total how many parts here? 16 plus 10, 26 plus 17, 43. 43 parts would be 17200. Then, Rohit profit. Rohit profit would be 9 parts, 43 into 4, 172, 9 into 4, 36,000. So answer is 36,000. Now next, the radius of base of a cylindrical vessel is 21 centimeter and height 12 centimeter. The vessel is full of milk. How many cylindrical vessels each have diameter 14? Diameter 14 and height 4 can be filled with the milk 
in the big cylindrical vessel vessel so if there are some n cylindrical vessels are required the initial the initial cylinder initial cylinder volume would be pi r square h is equal to n number of small vessels pi r square and h is 4 so 22 by 7 22 by 7 cancel now 7 3s are 7 3s are 4 3s are so n is 3 into 3 into 3 27 a certain sum on compound interest amounts to double three seven one eight point two seven two at twelve percentage per annum after three years after three years find the amount on simple interest on the at fifteen percentage per annum after six years after please see here double three seven one eight point two seven two is the total amount after three years so it is p into 1 plus r by 100 which is 112 by 100 after 3 years if it is nothing but so principal amount how much you are going to get double three c double three seven one eight point two seven two into 100 cube divided by 112 cube divided by 112 cube so you will get uh, how much you will get 24,000 24,000 as the principal if principal amount is 24,000 then simple interest 15 percentage for 6 years 15 percentage for 6 years so what would be the find the amount on simple interest amount on simple interest means so 90 percentage is the interest ok simple interest would be how much for 6 years should be 90 percent what is 90 percentage of 24,000 21,600 so what is the total amount it is going to be 45,600 so answer is 45,600 next question a shopkeeper gives a discount of 25 percentage on selling his article and in this process he made a profit of 20 percentage had he had had he not given the discount so see now cost price and market price the shortcut profit is actually on cost price so we'll write here discount is on market price we'll write here so if he is not giving the discount means if he's selling it 120 on 75 45 we have been the profit 45 on 75 is how much 53s are 15 fives are so 60 percent would have been the profit because it is going to become selling price profit is 45 on 75 which is 60 percentage next question number 27 a train p of length 240 meter running with a speed of 72 kilometer per hour crosses a platform of such a length in uh, 29 seconds another train r of such a length running with a speed of 90 km per hour crosses the same platform in 20.2 seconds what will be the time taken by both the trains to cross each other to cross each other so 70 is uh, how much 20 meters per second converting into it is how much 90 km 90 into 5 by 18 which is 25 meters per second right now length of platform length of platform is not known length of platform i am taking as length of platform i am taking as length of platform length of platform i am taking as x and length of train r is not not known i am taking as y so to cross the platform uh, with a speed of 20 it is taking 29 seconds from this I can say x would be 340 meter ok and to, to, to uh, a train of length y to cross the same platform to, to, to cross the same, uh, same platform same platform of length 340 
so y plus 340 with the speed of 25 it takes 20.2 seconds thereby y is equal to how much you are going to get the length of second train it is 165 meter now the question is what will be the time taken by both the trains to cross each other if they run so one train length is 165 the other train length is 240 so 240 plus 165 both are traveling in the opposite directions their speeds we will add thereby how much time it is going to take 405 by 45 which is 9 seconds how much 9 seconds is the answer a container containers contains 70 liters of milk the milkman replaced certain liters of milk with water this process is repeated two more times such that the quantity of milk remaining in the container to initial quantity of milk in the container is 27 is to 125 27 is to 125 so what does it mean 27 by 125 is equal to 1 minus some x is taken out of 70 it is done for totally how many times two more times means total three times so it is nothing but 3 by 5 is equal to 1 minus x by 70 if you simplify this you will get x as 28 liters x is how much 28 liters next the ratio of the income of Roni and Tony is 12 is to 13 respectively and the ratio of the expenditure is 5 is to 6 respectively. Roni saves 18,000 rupees and Tony saves 16,000 rupees. Income of Menu is 20% more than income of Roni and the income of Savita is 10% less than income of Tony. <coughs> Find the ratio of the incomes of Menu and Savita. So, one is some 12k, the other is some 13k. Okay, 12k minus saving. 13k minus saving. Ratio of expenses 5 is to 6. So, if you simplify this, I will get k as some 4000. k as some 4000, correct? k is 4000 means the income of Roni be 12 into 4000 48000 the income of tony the income of tony is 13 into 4000 which is 52000 and it is given that the income of uh, menu the income of menu is 20 percent is income uh, income of tony so 48000 plus 9600 20 percent is more means it is 57,600 and the income of Savita the income of Savita is 10 percent is less than 52,000 minus 5,200 which is 46,800 so you need the ratio of these two 57,600 is to 46,800 so two zeros two zeros cancel so it is how much <coughs> how much are going to get here uh, if you see here how many times it is divisible by 36 months or 36 yeah 36 16 ja 36 13 ja 16 is to 13 16 is to 13 is the answer next length breadth and height of a cuboidal box is 6 4 and 3 respectively a person keeps 18 such box one above the other and then paints it the amount incurred was x rupees if all boxes are painted separately then the incurred cost would be y rupees find the difference between x and y if the cost of painting the box per centimeter square is 2 rupees. So, here we paint on total surface area. What is the total surface area? 2 into LB plus BH plus 
L H. Okay, so it is how much? Twenty four plus twelve thirty six plus eighteen fifty four into two one zero eight centimeter square. So the total cost of painting of eighteen boxes separately of eighteen boxes separately at the rate of two would be so two into eighteen into one zero eight, which is how much? Rupees three triple eight three triple eight. Okay, so this is why this is why next what total surface area of all boxes if if all boxes are kept one above the other one above the this is each box if one above the other one above the other condition then what will happen two into lb plus bh lb plus bh would be 4 into 54 and lh would be 54 into 6 thereby it would be a how much double one two eight centimeters double one two eight centimeters double one two eight centimeters square into two rupees into two rupees would be how much Double two five six. Double two five six. This would have been x. This is y. So what is the difference between these two? Three triple eight minus double two five six. So the difference is uh, the difference of between x and y would be sixteen thirty two. Sixteen thirty two is the answer. Thirty one. Four trains A B C and D. Start from the same point at the same time. After every two hours, speed of each train changes. The table below represents some information about each train. Some data are given, while some data are missing. Train A covered 74 kilometer more than that of train B in eight hours. Ratio of initial speed of train C to train D after six uh, after six hours of start is. Five is to six respectively. Speed of train C after two hours of start is sixteen kilometer per hour more than speed of train B after two hours of start. After traveling for four hours, the total distance covered by all the four trains together in the next two hours. That is after four hours of the beginning of journey till the sixth hour is five hundred six kilometer. Five hundred six kilometer. Find the distance. So different questions are being given. Now let us make uh, this complete. So speed of the train A after four hours. Speed of train A after four hours. After four hours. Let it be x kilometer per hour. X kilometer per hour. So total distance covered by train A. Total distance covered by train A in eight hours. In Eight hours would be how much? So here, if you see, sixty plus sixty-five plus x plus seventy into two. How much you are going to get here? Three ninety plus two x kilometer. Okay. Now, next. This is about A, and what about B? B speed after two hours is not given. Let this be some y. Let this be some y. Let this be some y. If this is y, total distance, total distance covered by B in eight hours, in eight hours would be fifty plus y plus fifty six plus sixty four into two into Two. It would be how much? Three forty plus two by three forty plus two by. It is three ninety plus two x. It is three forty plus two by three forty plus two by. Okay. Next. Please see next one. Uh, what about train C? What about train C? Speed of train C after two hours. 
speed it is speed of train c speed of train c so if you can solve this two please try to understand uh 390 plus 2x and something we have here train a covered 74 kilometer more than that of train b in eight hours in eight hours so 390 plus 2x the difference between these two the difference between these two is 74 so if you simplify this 390 plus 2x 390 plus 2x minus 340 plus 2y is equal to how much 74 so here what is the equation you are going to get you are going to get x minus y as 12 x minus y as 12 speed of train c after 2 hours speed of train c after 2 hours speed of train c after 2 hours of start is 16 km per hour more than speed of train b after 2 hours of start so it would be y plus 16 y plus 16 the speed of train c the speed of train c is not known the speed of train c here it is not known after 6 hours initial speed of train c is not known right initial speed of train c initial speed of train c the speed of train c after two hours is okay but the initial speed of train c i am taking as phi z phi z speed of train t after six hours they are in the ratio five is to six so this is phi z this is six z yes or no thereby Total distance covered by total distance covered by C in eight hours. Total distance covered by C in eight hours would be phi z plus y plus sixteen. Phi z plus y plus sixteen plus seventy five plus eighty into two. Thereby, how much we are going to get here? Ten z plus 2y plus 342 and uh, it is given what is given here please see total distance would be how much here please try to understand this total 10z plus 2y plus 342 this total will be equal to 574 574 so 10z plus 2y plus 342 this is 342 okay so from this 10z plus 2y is equal to 232 so you will get one equation this is the first equation we got and one more equation we are going to get is 5z plus y is equal to 116 it is second equation second equation now please see what about d total distance covered by d 4 to 6 hours of starting 4 to 6 hours of starting 4 to 6 hours of starting would be how much 472 d 4 to 6 hours of starting would be how much 472 minus 176 because why see see here This is a lengthy question. We have to form first. It is 472 minus minus 40 plus 48 plus 6z plus 6z into 2, which would be 296 minus 12z. 296 minus 12z. So now you can say 296 minus 12z plus 296 minus 12z plus 12 2x 2x plus 262 is equal to 506 506 it's already given now from this you will get 12z minus 12z minus 2x is equal to 
So, 6z minus x is equal to 6z minus x is equal to 26. Thereby, x is equal to 6z minus 26. This is the third one. If you solve first equation, second equation and third equation, you will get the values of x, y and z. x, y and z. From first and second, from first and second, we get from third and uh, fourth one what what we can do here x minus uh, what we can do here x minus 16 x minus 116 plus 5z it can be taken as 12 it can be taken as x minus 116 plus 5z 5z can be taken as 12 so now from this you will get the value of z as 14 x as 58 and y as 46 y as 46 z you got x you got y you got so simply if you can substitute substitute you will get the answers please see here distance traveled by c in first two hours first two hours distance traveled by c in first two hours how much how much 5 into 14 which is 70 70 into 2 70 into 2 is 140 kilometer is the answer now next after 8 hours of traveling how much more distance more distance is traveled by a than by train than by d so distance covered by a in 8 hours is 506 Distance covered by A in D in 8 hours will be 472. 472. What is the difference here? 34. So, answer is 34. Answer is 34. Next, what about 13th question? After how much time from start will train D meet train B? So, total distance traveled by train B in 2 hours is 50 into 200 okay train B in 2 hours similarly train D in 2 hours 40 into 2 which is 80 train D would have traveled 4 kilometer more than that of train B between 2 to 4 hours 2 to 4 hours now train D is 16 kilometer behind of train B. So, train D will have traveled 16 km more than that of train B between 4 to 6 hours. So, train D will meet the train B after 6 hours. After 6 hours of starting. So, answer is 6 hours. 34th question. If train A and train C start from the two different points P and Q respectively, with the speeds as given, what are the traveling uh, who, uh, are traveling towards each other? Then after how much time would they meet after starting? After starting, providing the distance between the two points is how much? Seven month three. So distance traveled by A in two hours, sixteen to two, one twenty. C in two hours. C in two hours. B, 70 into 2 140 now the distance between both the trains would be 713.5 minus sum of these two which will give you 453.5 now train A between 2 to 4 between 2 to 4 A 2 to 4 A 2 to 4 is 65 into 2 130 C 2 to 4. C 2 to 4 is how much you got? 62 into 2, which is 124. Now again, 453.5 minus sum of these two will give you 199.5. Now the relative speed of both the trains after after relative speed. Relative speed after 4 hours, after 4 hours, 
would be how much? It is 58 plus 75, which is 133 kilometer per hour. Now the distance is 199.5 with a speed of 133. It takes one and a half hour. It takes one and a half hour. So total four plus one and a half. Four plus one and a half, which is five, five hour, 30 minutes. Five hour, 30 minutes. Now 35th question. Train A increased its speed by 10 percentage after 8 hours. After 8 hours. With respect to its previous speed, previous speed, what should be the speed of the train D after 8 hours such that the distance covered by train A and D in 10 hours is the same? Is the same. So, what is the total distance covered by train A in 10 hours? Which is 506 plus 77 into 2, which is equal to 660. Now, the distance that would have traveled by train D, train D between 8 to 10 hours, which is 660 minus 472, which is 188, 188 kilometer. Therefore, the required speed has to be 188 by 2, which is 94 kilometer per hour. 2 hours now this is. So 94 km per hour, 8 to 10 hour speed for train D. Next 36. 82 percent of the total production of village have other card population. Total population of village have other card while 45 percent of the total population have voter ID card. The number of people who have both other card and voter card is X and 15 percent of total population have only voter ID and number of people who have Aadhaar card is 3280, then find the value of X, find the value of X. So total population, total population. So it is given that 82% of the population have Aadhaar card. 82% is 3280. 82% is, is, is uh, 3280 means total population would be 4000. Number of people who have both Aadhaar and voter ID is X, which is how much? 45 minus 15 percentage of 4000, which is 30 percentage of 4200. Therefore, X is equal to how much? 1200. X is how much? 1200 is the answer. Next. 37th question. 5 years ago, the age of Sanjay was x minus 13 years. So, present it is x minus 13 plus 5. While 10 years, uh, while after 10 years, age of Deepak will be x plus 10. So, now would be x plus 10 minus 10. And uh, the ratio of the present ages of these two is 2 is to 3. So, if you simplify this, how much you are going to get? I am going to get x as 24. x as, find the value of x. x is 24. Next, question number 38. The income of Rahul and Rohit are x and 84,000 respectively. Rahul spends 30 percentage and Rohit spends 45 percentage of their respective incomes. Rahul and Rohit give 12,000 and 26,200 respectively to Anuj and save the remaining amount. If the ratio of the savings uh, of Rahul to Rohit is 3 is to 2, then what is the value of X? Please see here, uh, amount spent by Rahul, amount spent by Rohit. Rohit is spending how much? 45%. So, if X is the Rahul's income, out of that, 0.3x is uh, what? Spending. And give 12,000 to Anus. After that, the remaining is this one. What about second person? Out of 84,000, he is giving 45%, means 37,800. And 26,200 to Anus. Okay, thereby this ratio is given as 3 is to 2. If you simplify this, 0.7x minus 12,000 minus 12,000 divided by 
How much it is this? How much is this? 84,000 minus 37,800 minus 26,200, which is nothing but 20,000. Is equal to 3 is to 2. Therefore, what we call x as x is nothing but 60,000. x is 60,000. So, answer is 60,000. Now, 39th question. 4 power 2x by 4 power 12 into 64 divided by 4 power y into 16 is equal to 1024. Find the value of 2xy. Only 1. So, only 1 only one is not sufficient. Only two, only two is sufficient or only three is sufficient because it is one equation with the help of two you can combine and get the answer with the help of three you can combine and get the answer. So either two or three, either two or three is the answer. Next, the last question for previous paper. So is one by x minus two y a natural number? x greater than 0, y greater than 0, x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Second one, x greater than y, 2x minus y is equal to 6. Here, none of them is, uh, combination also is not sufficient because uh, from all the three, x greater than 0, y greater than 0, x greater than y. So, if I take some x as 4, y as 2, 1 by 4 minus 2 into 2 will get. So, here if I am taking x is equal to 4, y is equal to some 2, then 1 by x minus 2 into y will give you 1 by 0, cannot be determined. So, the answer is all combination of 1 to 3 also cannot be able to determine the value of 1 by 2 x minus 1 by x minus 2 y as the values of x and y are not known, not known, exact values are not known. If any one value is known, then you can find the other, okay. So here the answer is 5. So this is the paper mock test 2 of your IBPS RRP clerk mains. In our next session, session again we will meet with one more paper analysis. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. Thank you. Okay. Hope you all loved the video and we added some value to you. If you like this video, please do subscribe to the channel firstly. And if you are looking to join for the banking program or for SSC or for the RRB, so don't go further. You have the option of an online class, offline class, or even hybrid mode, or even the recorded classes. Whichever is your easy mode of access, please do join for that. And how to join? The details, everything is given below in the description. You can go back and check it out. And our Learn Through app is available both on Play Store as well as on the App Store. Check it out and download it and have a complete subscription for it.